Okay, so the earth clip itself is a very simple bit of kit. It's a, it's a small piece of metal. Swivel at the top to attach your shock leader to. Uh, clip down the bottom where your lead goes. Swivel in the middle is where your snood goes. The lead clip is quite simple. It's just a sleeve. Slide the sleeve back. Clip on your lead. Slide the sleeve back over. And that's that part done. Now what you need to do is attach a snood. Now let's add a snood to our earth. Now we know what an earth is. Um, for this demonstration I'm going to use a bit of coloured line. I wouldn't normally use coloured line for my snoods, but hopefully it'll stand out a little bit better in the video. Um, I've been using a lot of the Tronispo Blackout recently. Really good line. 040 is quite a good sort of average for, for sole fishing, flounders, that sort of thing. You don't need to go crazy light or anything like that. Um, some species you, know, you can do, certainly in the summer months, that sort of thing, but probably for the winter species, let's, let's stick to something like an 040. Um, right, get your earth, that middle swivel, the one that's rotating around the body, tie your line to. Um, now normally I would have a, a great big huge long length of line here, um, 8 foot is a good average for a lot of species, um, you can use 8s, 10s, 12s, 14s, 16s, whatever foot you want really, but I tended to this year especially uh, for things like my sole and flounders and things like that, I've stuck to about 8 foot, but for the sake of this video, because I can't really show 8 foot very well in a small area, I'm just going to keep a little short thing, but just pretend it's 8 foot. So, let's, just, let's trim it off about there. Tie on my hook. There we go. Now that, as simple and basic as it may look, is an earth rig. Got your earth clip, which we'll have our lead attached to. Down there. Swivel at the top for your shock leader. You length the line to your hook. Th that's it. That is simple. Um, probably nearly always add additional hooks, which I'll show in a second, um, using what we call droppers. Um, but that is a, is a one hook earth rig, or one below. Right, now we're going to add a second hook to our little earth rig we've just tied. So at the moment we have a one below. I'm going to make it into a two below. First things first, cut yourself off about a foot of line. I'm going to do the stop knot technique. There's a few different ways of doing it. You can do the blood loop technique, the twizzle technique, but I find the stop knot quick and easy. And we like easy. So, on your main snood line there, grab the other bit of line you've just tied off, cut off, sorry. Form these over loop. Like so. And tuck that through three times. This is just a, a simple stop knot. Once you've done that, Pretty good. Tighten down like so. Trim off that top tag, and we don't need that. Like so. And we now have that secondary bit of line there, which is a, a dropper. I'm going to attach. And there we have our original little one below has just become a two below. So we now have a two hook earth rig. If you can see all that well enough. Then you can add a third if you like. Um, have, you know, obviously this is supposed to be 8 foot of line. Um, have the, the first dropper, the hook part, about a foot back from the end hook. With the stop knot method, you can adjust it nice and easily. Because that is the slideable up and down the snood. In fact, you may find if you catch a big enough fish, when you reel it in, that has actually pulled all the way down there anyway. That doesn't matter. You just slide it back up 
the next one. Simple as that. That's a two hook earth.